Hey class, Sir Lance here. Let's discuss how to sketch the graph of a 3D surface using a contour map. The idea is that we take cross sections or curves of the surface on different height levels. They are called level curves. And the collection of level curves will form our topographic or contour map. So, given a function on two variables, z equals f of x, y, we obtain the level curve at c by setting z equals c. For example, the level curve at z equals 0 is given by 0 equals f of x, y. And as you can see, the level curve at C is given by the set of all points x, y, satisfying this equation. Now to distinguish level curves from contour map, let's have this definition. Consider level curves at Z equals C1, C2, and so on up to Cn. So in this case, we have multiple level curves. Then, the corresponding contour map is the graph consisting of all these level curves. So to make things clear, let's have an example. Use a contour map to sketch the graph of f of x, y equals 1 over x squared plus y squared at levels given z equals 1 fourth, 1 half, 1, 2, and 4. We're going to use this graphing website called Desmos, which I highly recommend. But you can also use GeoGebra. We'll use GeoGebra for another example later on. So all we have to do is plug in the function z equals 1 over x squared plus y squared, as you can see here. And we just replace the values of z by the given values 1 fourth, 1 half, 1, 2, and 4. In this case, each level curve is a circle. And this collection of circles is our contour map. Now always remember to label your level curves. So this uh, illustration is incomplete. Let's go back to our slides. Now this illustration is now complete because we labeled our level curves depending on the values of Z. Then we just need to plot the circles in 3D space to obtain the graph of the function, and here's how it's done. Now let's have another example. Sketch the graph of g of x, y equals y minus x squared. There are no indicated values of z, so we can just use whatever we want. Again, we go back to Desmos. Input z equals y minus x squared. And then we replace values of z. For instance, 0, 1, and 2. And so this is our contour map consisting of level curves which are parabolas. Again, we need to label our level curves. So going back to our slides, we label them z equals 0, z equals 1, and z equals 2. Then we just need to plot these parabolas in 3D space to obtain the graph of the function. And here's how it's done. Note that we can extend the concept of level curves and contour maps 
to functions of more than two variables. For instance, let's have uh, w equals a function of three var variables x, y, and z. Then just the same, the level curve at w equals c is given by c equals f of x, y, z. So the level curve is the set of ordered triples, or rather, this should be level surface. The level surface should be the set of ordered triples x, y, z in the three-dimensional space that satisfy the equation c equals f of x, y, z. And so the definition of a contour map in three variables we will consider level curves at W equals C1, C2, and so on up to Cn. Then the corresponding contour map is the graph consisting of all these level surfaces. So let's have this example. Sketch the level surfaces of f of x, y, z equals 1 over x squared plus y squared plus z squared at given values w equals 1 fourth, 1, and 4. We will do this individually and then we can form the contour map with these level surfaces. So this time let's use GeoGebra. Now take note if you substitute, for instance, w equals 1 fourth, we can move the 4 to the right side and the uh, denominator x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the left side via cross multiplication. And so we'll get a graph of x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 4. And so we'll do that the same technique for w equals 1 and w equals 4. So let's go to GeoGebra. x squared plus y squared plus c squared equals 4. And this is our level surface for w equals 1 over 4. Now we can have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1 and that sphere inside the bigger sphere is our level surface for w equals 1. And finally, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1 over 4. The smallest sphere in the middle of these two spheres is our level surface for W equals 4. This collection of level surfaces is our contour map. The only thing missing are the labels. So don't forget to label your level surfaces. So that's for our example number 3. All right, so that's all for this unit. I'll see you next time. Hello, Math Monday and Beecher. To check out more lecture videos, click here. And to supplement your learning, don't forget to answer the exercises which you can find in the description box below. Enjoy and stay safe.